Hey everybody, you got it. Welcome to the VPN Jash Network Studio headquarters here in Southern California. You are tuned in on a Tuesday afternoon, West Coast time, noon. I'm here, we're excited. It is the number three in a row, not rated. We don't get into ratings here, but let's go ahead and bring out the host of our show, it's Positive Push with Brody. Here he is, your host, your friend, your pal, Mr. Stephen Brody Stevens. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Hear the applauding. It's a uh, flashback to Talk Soup. You know, last show I mentioned, maybe I wasn't in to the clapping and the applauding and the laughing, but if organically it's there today, uh, I'll accept it. I'm that kind of guy, I deal with adversity. That's how you judge somebody. Right now, don't judge me. Meaning that, let's be honest, let's address the pink elephant in the room. You're looking at currently the face of Comedy Central. You got it, yes, groundbreaking. <laughs> Something happened, uh, am I surprised? Actually, I am not. I've been through uh, uh, things that a lot of experience in my life that prepared me for what happened. The lead up to Sunday, the Sunday moment, and the post celebration reflection. I gave myself about a 72 hour window to, to be real, to be, I mean, real, go out of my way to share my realness with what was happening that Sunday night. Now, a lot of you people say right now, you say that I, I don't know you. I've been told to check in. I've, I read articles, US Today, the Gannett Media Service, there is a, a fantastic review, believe it or not, in the Arab Times. <laughs> they could have gone against me. They didn't. So bottom line is positive reviews. I'm here right now. This is uh, my third installment of Positive Push with Brody here on the VPN Jash Network. And I'm speaking like this. Remember, why is he like this? Relax. Who is this guy? He's yelling. Remember early on, some excitement. There's some issues in my life because if I bring it down to a level of complete relaxation, almost a meditative uh, vibe, energy, it's not going to be good for us today. So we're going to talk about real life issues. And I'm here. And you would say, Brody, where's your mom? You talk about your mom. She was one of the stars of episode one and episode two. And I have to tell you, and I got to be honest, because it's about real life and we're pushing forward right now. My mother is in a hospital. Why? She fell. When? My rap party. How? A walker doing a dog duty. And she fell. People fall. Women of that age, men of that age fall. So the hip was broken. Surgery. Three, two, one. The hip was broken and surgery was performed. So it's all good. Positive push. The tears have been there. I've seen the tears. But we're going to push forward because that's life and that's what, that, what this show represents. We'll be right back. And I'm not choked up. I need water. <laughs> I'm not choked up. And it's not weird and not awkward. <clears throat> and I'm staying in the box. I'm not bouncing around. I'm right here like the Sklar's hosting a show on, on the Travel Channel. So we're right here. Um, I'm going to, and I don't want to say um. Call me on ums. That's, um, that's um professional. <laughs> Hands here. I learned this from Thailand, meditative in the city of Bangkok. I will be sitting down when we come back. And we have two fantastic guests that are funny, 
they're friends, and you will know them and recognize them. And when we come back from commercial, us three will be gathered around speaking about life and hopefully some comedy as well. My name's Stephen Brody Stevens. You're watching Positive Push on the Jash VPN Network. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brody Stevens. People on the West Coast think I'm funny. People on the East Coast think I'm funny. Watch my show and find out which coast you agree with. Brody Stevens, enjoy it. Sundays at midnight, starting December 1st. We are back. We are positive pushing here at a secret studio in Southern California. My name is Stephen Brody Stevens, and what we like to do is have a guest. I mean, pretty much every show, we've had one guest. This show, we actually have two guests at the same time. They are friends. They are of mine. I, and I assume they're friends of each other. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one man you may recognize from the television show, The League on FXX. He also has a show, I believe, on Adult Swim. I've seen the billboard, and I know it's a playoff, one of the CSI family of shows on, on uh, Viacom, TB, TB2. TB2, I have tuberculosis too. <laughs> And he's an all-around good guy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. Give it up for Mr. Paul Shear. Hey, everybody. Hi. So we have Paul Shear here. Shear is here. In. In. He's in. He's in. All right, so we're going to keep it moving on. That's Paul. <laughs> Excitement to have him. We have another guest. We're going. We're going two guests right out of the gate. We're different. I'm staying in my uh, staying still like a like a sclar. I mean, I, I love Randy and Jason, but they put the hands together and they stay focused. I like it. Uh, this next gentleman I've known for many years. Actually, uh, we met, came across each other path wise in Brooklyn, New York. I would say close to eight, probably eight nine years ago. It was a festival. I went out there and did my thing. It was in a bar. And I remember this gentleman coming up to me saying, hey, funny job, good, 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 good stuff. Really liked it. And I was appreciative of it. <laughs> and then a few years later, he moves out to Los Angeles and I see the energy. I see the confidence. I see the positivity. He's doing shows, starts booking things. I feel good. And he's here today. <laughs> You know him from his Adult Swim show. You have seen him on some network shows. You know, he doesn't really talk about it, but he does it. And I'm sure he is proud and was proud. <laughs> he has a billboard. And his billboard was up for a long time, and it, it's good to have that feeling. Now he has a billboard, I believe, up at the Laugh Factory, but Chris D'Elia, black comedian, white man. <laughs> Who's special? I love Chris too. May have taken it over, but Eric is all over, and he's a good guy, and we love him. And I did mention his name, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is, fresh back from a national tour, and who knows what else is coming up? My buddy, your friend, Mr. Eric Andre. Thank yes. You, thank you. Thank you. The best intros in the biz. Ever. Do you mind if I stretch? But go ahead. I'm no, in, 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 I want to start off, and I, I, I feel like I just want to ask you a question because I've been thinking about it. I don't want to start off on a confrontational level because obviously we are about positivity. I try to be. I mean, I, I, I know I know that I works. Right. I try to be. And I think I am. What's is up? there any truth to the fact that the city of Tarzana is upset that you're taking jobs away from them by doing the show here? In a different mm. part of California. That's a good question. Oh, you mean I should be doing this you should show be sub in Tarzana? Yeah. That I mean, that's the thing. I've been I've been reading some stuff. I read it. The New York Times did an article about you. A very nice article about you on Sunday. Sunday yeah, New York Franz Times did a good job. It was in the paper. Yeah. Yeah. And the, in the, the last yeah. the last paragraph was everything about uh, roughly everything about Brody is positive, except for the fact that he is taking. Jobs away from Tarzana, Tarzana. natives. He yep. said that? Yes. <laughs> By doing his show in an undisclosed location in California. Well, I... A lot of people think you sold out. Yeah, you sold out. Well, I go back to Tarzana. I, but do you employ the people of Tarzana? I don't think... I No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think I do, but they're doing well. Yes. Tarzana's <laughs> a nice 
It's sure. a nice community sure. out in the San Fernando Valley. It's a shithole. No, it isn't. Yeah. Uh, That's where my chiropractor uh, is. That's where my chiropractor is. He said, oh, it is? Yeah. And he says it's an S? She. I, she. I can curse. She. He says it's an, she says it's an S hole? Yeah. Where does she How? live? North or south of Ventura Boulevard? That makes a difference. You, you know, I don't see those lines. I don't <laughs> I, even... Well, south. What, what, defi what divides? What divides it? Is generally it speaking, we'll say in. Tar well, generally speaking, we'll say in Tarzana that living north of it's Ventura Boulevard yes. right here. South is where the money is at. It's it's up on the hills. Got it's it. the gated mm -hmm. communities. It's Lamar Odom. It's a Jackson okay. brother. Okay. It's a family who had Got LA it. King tickets uh, when they played at the Forum Got back it. in 86. Uh, so is it a little bit of a, like where, like Calabasas is kind of like where a lot of celebrities go. Where is Tarzana Falls? Is that like a, is it like a poor man's Calabasas? I would not say poor man's Calabasas. Calabasas is way out there. I love Calabasas. I have no, sure. I have no issues with Calabasas. In fact, <laughs> I like going out there because to me, Calabasas is that. It's the Ontario of. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not, Eric. Okay. It is not. Okay. Please. <laughs> okay. It is <laughs> the first mistake you make. But I'm sorry to cut you off. First mistake you make when living in LA is you see there are cheaper flights from the Ontario airport. You decide you're gonna go out there, yeah. and it does not. It's it too, far. too far. It's it far. It does not work out. It's far, yeah. and it's off the 10 freeway. And speaking of the Ontario airport, that's where I shot my scene for due date. I played the right. limit. Thank you. Thank you. What was your dial? What was your dialogue in due date? I said something to Robert Downey Jr. He's. I'm just. I was just talking about. You can't say it again because it's copywritten. Exactly. You know? Wow. And you know what? I, I've done that on stage, and I don't think I should do it here because it is documented. It's documented. I'm going to take a sip of water. Yes. If you guys want to talk while I sip. All right. Wow. Oh, is it going to be that long of a sip of water? <laughs> I mean, it seems like you're really building up. That, that seems like you're going to take a pee break. <laughs> it's almost going to be over. There it is. I haven't had anything to eat, and that is not positive. I want to let you know. So we're just being real. Real quick, I want to, to Tarzana yes, Calabasas sorry, yes. deal. Poor this man's is, Calabasas. No. Yeah, rich man's Tarzana. <laughs> Tarzana's got money. Lamar but Odom is there. Lamar Odom is there, and I think, no, the he's staying one, one with of the his lesser uncle. Jacksons. He's staying with a friend. Okay. Okay. Tarzana is, there's a division. There's sure. not a bad part of Calabasas. If you're living in Calabasas, you're doing it's well. nice, it's safe. It's family, it's gated. It's actually a throwback to the past. There's yeah. ranches, there's open land, you know. You Rancho know. Cucamonga. No, 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 you're, you're yeah. going east. Yeah, but I'm, that's You're going city. east, you wanna... I'm keeping you west. Okay. I wanna keep you near water. Okay, okay. I wanna okay. keep you near mounds. I Got wanna it. keep you near safety. All right. Covina, okay. Covina. I'm, now you're I've coming been to closer. The, I've been to the Ikea in Covina. You're coming I've closer. been there too, yeah. great, great Ikea. Great Ikea, Sometimes have you been there? they have certain chairs that the other more popular Ikeas don't have. Yes, Hence, <laughs> better stock. Better stock because no one's going there. The yeah. Ontario problem, you can shoot a movie at the Ontario airport because nothing is happening nothing at the Ontario happening. airport. I shot, I did shoot at an Ikea, actually. I've been to two Ikeas. What did you shoot at the Ikea? It was just a web thing, and it was it was fine. It was Competing it was, it, network, so you didn't want to plug it. No. Ikea's has a network? No, no, the web series. The web series. I don't even remember right. what it was on. Let me please get back to Calabasas yes. and Tarzana. And I, then I have one big question about sports that we have to okay. get into. Right. Yeah, you, you, okay, okay. Calabasas, to me, I love it. When I go out to Calabasas, <laughs> I feel like I'm in the Wild West. There's ranches, there's hills, there's quietness, it's peaceful. It remembers me of going to, uh, as a kid going to Cottontail Ranch off Lost Virginus Road as a sixth grader. It just brought back. I like that What happened at Cottontail Ranch? It was all positive. Okay. It was all positive. Nothing happened there. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, well, I mean, I didn't mean it in a sexual way. I mean, like, what, what went on at the ranch? Did you get the pet horses? Did you ride horses? Did you do archery? What uh, was a young Brody doing at the Cottontail Ranch? I was in uh, sixth grade Tarzana Elementary. Sure. And we had, uh, like, a getaway. Like, it was a So they brought like you to the rich hole. area. They were like, hey, let's take these poor kids from Tarzana. Wait. Let's bring in the Calabasas, yeah. <laughs> where the real money is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you could dream. Tarzana. 
is respected. <laughs> now, I'm gonna get, let me finish Calabasas. <laughs> so Calabasas, nice. I'm out there. I saw the movie Orca in Calabasas. <laughs> My friend cried during Osmosis Jones. You think that's too sensitive? That's with, uh, or, is that Osmo, was that with Orlando Jones? <laughs> no. Who was Osmosis Jones? Bill Murray, right? Bill Murray, okay. Yeah. Is that, okay. It's all happening in his belly. <laughs> okay. Focus. I do remember that movie. So Osmosis we've established <laughs> what Calabasas is. Got it. It's a, there's a, it's nice, it's rich, it's all beautiful. Yes, correct. Gade, very good. Less Thank shitty you. than Tarzana. I don't like where you're, I mean, I'll almost accept that. All right. Because I don't like using negative words. Remember, Got we're it. using positive God. words. Positive words. It's That's nice. Like a poor man's Calabasas. <laughs> okay, Tarzana, very nice, south of the boulevard, up yeah. in the mountains, seclusion, looking over the valley, some gates. Got it. Uh, I would say in the- A place the where Lamar lean, can go to recover. Lamar Odom. He's recovering. And, it's, and it, it leans Jewish. Got mm -hmm. it. It leans Jewish, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. You come down <laughs> north of Ventura. What's happening down there? Then it can be a little of so Eric. If Eric wants to say seedy, he can. Yeah. All right. So it is seedy. There's elements of seediness. Yeah. And it's not upgrading. Um, you can find some. I would not say it's upgrading, Tarzana's but there are. gentrifying at like an exponential rate. Is it a target? Mm -hmm. Is there a hit. target There's there that looks like the hit. Walking Dead is hit? Because sometimes when you <laughs> no, go it's to a target that. and no, a no, CDA, no, no, it no. Like please no respect it. <laughs> no. It's, there's a Gelson's Tarzana <laughs> they got, they north got of the boulevard. They got Wi Fi. North. They got Wi Fi. Yeah, yeah, sure the they do. Wi Fi like right. Santa Monica? The Santa Monica <laughs> Gelson's free, does? No, they, all of Santa Monica's free Wi Fi. I'm not a big really? fan of yeah. Santa Monica. Is that true? But we're going to talk about that later. All right. So I think we established the Tarzana. Calabasas connection. Now, Shots fired at Santa Monica. A lot of hatred towards Santa Monica from yeah Brody. the valley, because oh, wow. I, I grew up in the valley, okay. and whenever I would go to Santa Monica to go boogie boarding or Haters go, go to the beach, yeah. yeah, I had to say that I was a local, and so I wouldn't get beat up, oh, and, well, and yeah. I always like a local Santa you, Monica. You resented those kids. Well, looking back on it, I resent it. It's kind of like that scene from Point like Break, it. where you have to like infiltrate the surf culture. You have to pretend that you're somebody that you're not, just to get a good a good wave. Yeah, like like uh, Johnny Utah. Yeah, exactly. Or actually, wasn't there a Brody character in Point Break? I Did it? Wasn't it, Patrick think, Swayze? Oh, you what was know his what? Name? Yeah, I think you're right. His name might have been Brody. Yeah, it was Brody. Stevens. No, Bodie. 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 <clears throat> Well, now, now let me ask you this. This is a bigger okay, question. You can question. ask me as many questions as you right. want, and Eric, I want you to chime in also. Sure. This is a question that I felt like I wanted to talk to you about. So obviously there's a lot of controversy about the Washington Redskins, right? We all know about that controversy. The football team. The fact that they're, they're, um, they're insulting Native, Native Americans. Can say the exactly. name? Yeah. yeah, the Redskins. The Redskins. Yeah. Now, what do you think about the Ojai school that is the Ojai Arabs? Is there... An old that, are you serious? Real thing? that is an OI high school. There's the no o way. A hundred percent. You can look online okay. after you don't watch it. OI is up north it's near a, Lompoc. It, it There's is. a casino. It's uh, it's less than sixty three miles away. Uh, you'll be there. It's in wine country. <laughs> I listen to a lot. Of, it's the Wabash, I think. The Wabash. Now, I know you were positive. Or, or, you know, okay, but, I want to yeah. hear. Go yeah. ahead. So, continue so they have that. the Arab. That's their high school mascot, is the Arab. And he chases around a beautiful woman in like a veil or something like that. That's like. Really? That's like when a, was the mascot created? I don't know. I'm gonna I assume it's been a while, but uh, Arab seems... September twelfth, two thousand. But it does seem like an Arab is not a ma like. I don't know. For at least in my growing up, like there's been a lot of like Redskins, Cleveland Indians, Braves, that yeah. kind of stuff. But Arab has never been a mascot to get yeah. behind. I, I, yeah. I'm not a fan of it, Eric. What's your feeling? I think on... it's uh, it's racist. It's uh, terrible. I, I think don't you're like right. It. I, I like agree it. with you guys. Yes. And I'm a Jewish uh, guy. Yeah. Yep. I think it's wrong. I can't believe that the Cleveland Indian mascot still exists in the 21st century. <laughs> yeah. the biggest uh, well, they have a great hat. I, 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 I like the hat. <laughs> I grew up uh, I grew up in New York and I used, I used to go see a lot of uh, college basketball. In the city? Uh no, like outside of the city. But my dad was talking about New Rochelle? New Rochelle. Right. No, uh, right? <laughs> Long Island, all that sort of stuff. Oh yeah, like Jericho. Huntington. That's near Jericho. Stony Brook? <laughs> Stony Brook? I'm going to say is Natalie Portman and Play from Kid and Play went to my Blockbuster video. Really? That's all I got. That is nice. Very nice. But so I go see a lot of St. John's basketball games and they had they were the St. John's Redmen for a long yes. time. 
And they also had an offensive mascot that was changed, and they decided the way they were going to change it was to make a red man. Mm -hmm. So he was a man in a red tuxedo mm -hmm. that would run around, <laughs> and he like, you know, the top knot and the cane. And he, I've never seen someone more universally booed and <laughs> hated. And ah. they, they reviled this man because he went from this cool, right. you know, Indian mascot, which is, again, offensive and racist, but <clears throat> it was at least embraced yes. to this man, this kind of man in a red tuxedo mm -hmm. dancing around. And then they finally replaced it with a pony. <laughs> now and, uh, and they bring the pony in. I keep knocking. Unprofessional. Do they like keep, they bring the pony inside Madison more, Square Garden it's, when no, they no, play? It's, it's, bring no, no, it's like MSG. a like a uh, My Little Pony pony. It's like a and they do like and a, that's they racist do, too. They do like a no, donkey. Racist, they do like a donkey, donkey show, show at the oh, end well. of it. The red man like, fucks <laughs> the donkey. <laughs> well, you know what? On, on that, we got to go to commercial break. I like where this well, is going. Well, we're in the groove now. We're in the groove, but you know what? We gotta. We got to pay the pay ads. The That's what they say. Got to pay the bills. Uh, we'll be back. We'll continue with this. I'm Stephen Brody Stevens. We're here with Paul Shear and Eric Andre. You're watching Positive Push. Hi, I'm Brody Stevens. I've got a new show on Comedy Central. And believe me, things are going to get hairy. Brody Stevens, enjoy it. Sundays at midnight, starting December 1st. Hey, everybody, we are back. Positive pushing with Paul Scheer, Eric Andre. I'm Stephen Brody Stevens. I'm relaxing, and we had a nice break, and we're just uh, having a good time here. Yeah. And we were talking about Tarzana and Ooh. Calabasas, and we weathered that storm. And I wouldn't even call it a storm, a little turbulence, a little <laughs> understanding. And we're good Took on that. Took some shots at Santa Monica, the people that live there, the way that they treat people. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of Santa Monica. It's a positive I, I show. It's a positive show. Just it, want to bring that up. I just, I just remember. Say one thing positive about Santa Monica. I like the promenade. Great. I <laughs> like. They have a great H and M. I like the. I like when you're taking the 10 freeway and it curves onto the the PCH. Like that. That's fun. Like you're driving through and then all of a sudden you go under a Sears and the next thing you see is the ocean. And that's fun. It, and it does make me remember about the times as a kid. And I'm that not PCH gonna, is dangerous. It is. Taking a left like, turn off talk. that thing, oh. it's like freaking death what, trap. I mean, what do you, I mean, I don't want to get into speeding and driving, but yeah, obviously that's going on. It is on a in goddamn news. death trap, my man. PCH? <laughs> yeah. You know, Ben Vereen, the dancer? Yeah. He got oh, he hit. was Chicken George in Roots. Yeah, he got hit. Pippin. He was in Pippin. I don't know what part he played, but he was. He was in also it. in. Um, Scotty Pippin lives in Malibu. I'm sure he's had issues <laughs> Why not with PCH. Tarzana? <laughs> Why he, not you know, live in Tarzana, Lamar Odom style. Jamie Foxx was in Tarzana. Ben Vereen was on Zubilee Zoo. Do you remember that? Zubilee Zoo. Zoo. Zubilee no, Zoo. What is that? Ben Vereen. The kids show. Very good show. Ben Vereen also, I believe, Emmanuel Lewis's uh, uncle in uh, Webster. Yeah. I, ben I, Vereen I, has been working. Yeah. Was working. Consistently steady. working. Good the dancer. 80s and 80s. Nice guy. Talented. I met him at my high school. Met him at your high. And where did you go? Did let me guess. Let me guess. I know you're from the you're from the East Coast. You went to the Fame High School, the Performing Wait, Arts High School. Too? There he is, Florida, Eric South Andre. Florida, you got yeah. it. Took a secret subway, and he <laughs> ended up at a private school on the Upper no, East Side. No, public school in Florida, but it was a magnets arts school. I went to a I went to like the nerd program in ninth grade at this really bad school, mm -hmm. and then I got accepted to an art school for cello. Cello. Really? See, <clears throat> and there wasn't a guy. There wasn't there a guy who played cello in Fame. Bruno was this guy. So it was a Fame. It was a Fame esque. Wait, right. so but do it's public. you still play cello? I switched to bass, and then I went to college for upright bass, and then I sold my bass so I could move to LA. So, wow. so you can play the bass. Yeah. Upright. You know. You know what would be good? And I'm just throwing it out there. You know, like the Jimi Hendrix story. You look kind of like that vibe. Uh, well, Andre 3000 is doing the um, yeah. oh, Jimi Hendrix biopic. Yeah. Is he playing him? <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah. But they don't have the rights to any of the songs. Oh, is that so the hold up? Is gonna well, well, be, I mean, they shot it. What stopped them before? I want to do the Macy Gray biopic. That's what I'm holding out for. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like that. She's and I'm going to do the Steve Harvey biopic. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a, the, the, fa the Family Feud The years. Family Feud year. I was thinking the same thing. The best show okay, on TV. Wave length, bro. About, now, you're, you went from, and uh, you know. You are circumcised. Yes. Okay. Is that what you're going to say? Yes. 
thank you for getting that out there I with am. everybody. <laughs> now you you went from having a show, very successful show on HBO, uh, uh, HBO subsidiary channel, not main HBO. Right. right. It was the internet. HBO Go. It gets so popular, they go, we need to bring you on regular cable now. Give you out to the masses. Now you're a TV star. Your show just premiered. Where are you at mentally? Are you prepared even to be here? What's well, going I, I on? I should have ate today, so are you, I'm not prepared. Are you your assistant, why isn't your assistant getting I, you the food? Are you getting mobbed? They get at, me food. Are you getting mobbed at the Culver City Farmer's Market? I have not, I have not gone to a farmer's market. Wait till you go to the farmer's market. Can you pull into a Del Taco without being harassed and people taking your picture nonstop like a Kanye See, West? I know, I know they're joking a little bit, and <laughs> I know that's not happening, and it could happen, let's be honest. Comedy Central, one of the most popular channels in the basic cable family, not as popular as Adult oh, Swim, right. channel that we're on, <laughs> but, the, uh, but as far as cable channels go, very popular. All right, th yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. Let me, uh, I'll say one thing. I'll say one thing and then I'll answer your question. I, I feel like the HBO show, Go, HBO Go show, Brody Stevens Enjoy It, which originally I thought Joe maybe, Wagner working on it. Joe Wagner, uh, Tom Sharp, Zach, Mike Gibbons, Dennis Gubbins, a nice crew of guys. Dean, uh, Tony Camp Danza. Fleischer. Tony Danza was not involved. Yahoo Serious. Would you like, who Yahoo was, was who involved, three, but not seriously. Three, three dream people you'd like to have on season two. Well, I'll go. I'm going to go to that. I'm going to go right, to that right. question. Of course. But first, I want to address the HBO. I don't know how popular it was, and when I did it, I was thinking, okay, maybe it would be on HBO. I never put it in my head. Like I could never see myself being on HBO like Game of Thrones. Coming up next, Brody Stevens. I could see you in that throne, but I could not I agree. Right, so I couldn't see it, I couldn't visualize. Yes. Why me, I mean, what am I? A guy who's done Chelsea a couple times, had a small part in The Hangover, why? You know, I'm sure Zach being involved in anything I do is beneficial. So I'll throw that in as well. But did HBO, I don't know how popular it was. It wasn't popular enough at well, HBO. Well, popular enough to, to have the comedy set. I know, I'll say that, off. but here's the deal. What happens, what happened? okay, HBO knows what they had. Obviously, they probably heard about how production went and everything, and not that it was bad, production was good. And the result was what it was. But to me, you know, if, in my mind, going in to the next thing, it was like, if HBO thought it was so great, why didn't they buy it? Because and, they have to make a decision. They had a poster of Girls, they had a poster of The Brody Show, and they had to say, what are what do we have to get behind? And they had to let you go, to, like, let you fly free, because they loved look, it so much. Champagne I, problems, my man. Yeah. Comedy okay, Central. Okay. Is, yeah. is, I'm, I'm just throwing that out millions there. Millions of people. Yeah. I'm not complaining, but that's kind of what went through my mind. But the fact the that... The South Park guys and, and Jon Stewart aren't, aren't complaining. Okay, you know? well, yeah. it's not a complaint. It's not a complaint. But the way Paul explained it to me is like, yeah, they've got girls. They've got... Some other Game popular shows, Game of Thrones, Boardwalk, Boardwalk, and, Treme, and why would Treme is the only show? And I, I, if this is live right now, has anyone watched Treme? I shot a movie in New Orleans, and everyone I met in New Orleans was on Treme, but never watched it. Have yeah, you, I've never, uh, I've never seen Treme. Big fan of David Chase. Love The Wire, like probably everybody else. He's got a good bank. I want to say this: <laughs> this show. I'm just going to check in with you. This show is not going to be, we're talking about movies, and we're doing that, and then we're going to do this. And I know you love movies, and Eric, if he does a podcast, I don't know. Maybe he's going to do this, throw some firecrackers like he did a Jezelnik. It startled me, but I liked it. So we may not go in there. This is more of just them walking through and, you know, walking me through certain things and then discussing stuff, too. So we're not going to ignore you and not give you you know, entertainment, hopefully. But this is what this particular episode is about. Thank you very much, and I just set the bar low. <laughs> Paul, so you were asking me earlier. Between, you were saying that you like that, uh, you like that uh, description. That they I had like how you said that. So that makes me, that's good. That's good closure. That's not, 
that erases that thought. Not that I had any bitterness towards HBO. Like, why don't they, they think they don't think yeah. I'm funny? Or they offer me kind of the same. What was that voice? I know it was bad. I, I, wait, hold on. Why do you think that's so funny? <laughs> All right, Eric. Don't. How, okay. Amadeus. What? Amadeus. Amadeus. <laughs> All right, that, that voice. voice I'll tell you where that ever. voice came from. I asked. Before the segment started, do we have, how long do I have? They said 10 seconds. Well, why did I have to leave? Because I had to spit, okay? I had 10 seconds to spit. I wasn't going to take, take that chance. So I do have something I should spit. It's like here. It's just, you know, na natural human stuff. Like phlegm? Phlegm. Yeah, swallow it. Yeah. I did, but it's coming back up and it affected that. <clears throat> Oh. And I don't want right. to yell. Oh, okay. oh, that was uh, the, voice, voice. The, vo <laughs> the voice came out of a phlegm moment. Yeah, so I'll swallow some more water yeah. and push Take it your down. Time. Take your time. We'll chat over here. Take your time. How are you? <laughs> but let me ask you. Okay. How are you feeling? I actually feel... I watched the show on the plane. Mazel tov. Congrats. I was over the moon. I was getting the other people to change their channel to watch, they saw me watching it so intently, the other yeah. people, so I started, I got you two more fans. C, D, and, and E. Um, but, season two guests, let's talk yeah, about them. I, 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 I'm not, I am not, honestly, I am not thinking about could season two. Could there be a two. season two? I'm sure there could be You are a... trying to be modest, but you no, gotta I, put I, it I... out in the universe. Season two is well, happening. You okay, gotta put it out yeah. in the universe. Okay, I'm saying maybe somewhere I am or I did. Positive or I, energy. Or I made yeah, it. Season two. Yeah, you gotta I put understand. It out. Bring it, bring Bounce it, it off the it. fucking sun, my I man. I understand that, but I come from the John Wooden school of just preparation. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. You put your shoes Nose on. Nose to the, the grindstone. Way. Exactly. Strap I'm not saying I don't enjoy and. You take come from time. a tough background. I come from a tough background, but it's an example of, look, I gave myself 72 hours your to grandpa, enjoy. Your grandfather used to punch out horses. My, <laughs> my father played the knockout game. Yes. That's from Jerry Well, Horse. they knocked out horses on Blazing Saddles, actually. Sure, yeah. They did. Um, and also on but that, your other, that other HBO show, Luck, they also punched out horses. <laughs> oh, they, they sure did. But your grandparents were tough. I don't know that. I didn't know my grandparents. Ellis, I knew my grandma. Ellis Island. They were fucking... Well, I guess... I mean, everybody, they lived in Brooklyn. Basically, I, you only have today. That's the only thing that you're given, right? Well, you, you can want, leave here today, be all over. So you're focusing on the moment right now. That's what you're Power of now. Eckhart, Eckhart Tolle. 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 You, you, you Tolle. want me to be honest with yeah. what's in my head right yeah. now? Okay, I'll be, I'm going to be completely honest with you what's going on in my head to the point that up to f 10 minutes before the show, what was going through my head. Um, no nervousness about the show at all. Sure. This was so that's out. You know, I was being, this show. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I knew this would be fun, and I wish I ate more before or ate. I didn't, but <clears throat> so this was not anything in right. my head other than like autopilot. So that's good. My what's in my head is I'm thinking about. I know episode three. Yeah, I'm thinking about my show. Got it. I'm not thinking I made it. I know that just due to the positive reviews that I got, New York Times or... Sunday Times. That's okay. no, Sunday no Times. small feat. All right. I'll, I'll take it. Pete Holmes, the contemporary of you, got Saturday New York Times. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Right? Saturday Times. No one's reading Saturday, Saturday Times. Saturday Times. It's like... You all know, right. So well, uh, you know, yeah, if, I guess, so I guess that feels deal. good. You okay. got to embrace it. All right. I'm embracing it. You got to embrace it. Stop I'm not, this not, modest shit. But hold on. And fucking but rebel. Episode three. Yeah, they episode want me to change. I'm not going to. I will have moments of gloating. I'm going to give you that. You're going to get that, Eric. As if that was a very scholar kind of oh, lot. You were great. like very... Well, I came out of the hand. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is what's in my mind yes. right now. <laughs> Wait, do the scholar brothers, are they very still on camera? No, I but they, I know they're good they're hosts. Posture, and I watch them. They have good yeah. posture. They I, have good I, posture. Love, I just love... I, watch, I like watching <laughs> them as, as hosts because they're good. <laughs> Well, you are uh, obviously a fan of baseball. Form is a big part of baseball. Pitching is a big part of that. Doc so Ellis yeah. hit that no-hitter on LSD. LSD, you got it. Okay. <laughs> this is what's in my head. Yes. I just want to get through my head, yeah. and then we'll, yeah. then we'll move on. <laughs> right. What I was thinking about. 
I am thinking about, I'm happy about one and two. Feel good. I gave myself Saturday to kind of like get things off my, ch- my chest. This is my last, you know, I'm sharing my last days of being a civilian. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I mean. This I'm, is your, these are your last days of Kind a, of a am, little am, bit. Anonymity. At least, at least for maybe a few years. Got it. Okay. So I, 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 I thanked people. I kind of let people know uh, what I'm feeling and what I hope to feel. And I kind of already had a sense that it was going to be a certain way, knowing that episode one was reviewed well. So I felt good about that. And then episode two, I wasn't sure about. But I, from what I've seen and... Um, you know, I don't watch every single, single thing, so I didn't know exactly. Can and, I pull the curtain back a little sure. bit? Too? This show has also been a nerve-wracking process for you because it is revealing a lot about yourself. So there's, it's hard to be judgment. It's hard to know what is good because you're seeing a side of yourself that maybe you don't want to get out there sometimes. Yeah, there's a few of those things. You know, originally when we did the show, the hardest thing for me was, yeah, talking about the mental illness and having a breakdown and showing me in the hospital and, was, and listening to these voicemails that I left. Yeah, that was hard. Two years later, not so hard because I know, meaning because some people saw that on the HBO yeah. version. So I got feedback on that and it kind of, I felt that's okay. And, you know, since then, a lot of other people have had problems. Right. So sharing that again this time around, it's like, I almost wanted to see more. It's like, show me more having that breakdown. I don't know, I, it didn't bother me. Right. Look I'm at saying. Richard Pryor, who was the most vulnerable in public and became the number one comic of all time because people connected so much to that yeah. vulnerability and honesty. And but, I, but, and I, and but I, now, do you think now that you're in the public eye, you're gonna change. in this level that <clears throat> you're gonna change, you're gonna wear makeup, one more makeup right now, and I penciled. I penciled in my beard on the four hundred five. Can you? And, and like, here, here's the thing. I, I think of Andy Kaufman. You know, he's an interesting guy, performer. He, you know, he goes. He used to do Taxi and then still be a busboy. Now, would you still do your show and still do warm up? Because I feel like that connects you with people. That gives you a certain life force in there too. I would definitely like to continue doing audience warm-up. I have fun I like with like warm-up and busboy are like the same for you. <laughs> well, you know, just I mean, you gotta run around. Going back to, But going back to the people, going back to Going the, back to the, well, I've done 25 audience, 2,500 audience warm-ups and it did kind of help with the foundation and create. And you're getting laid after, are you getting laid after these warm-ups? We're gonna, we're gonna get laid after warm-up? Hold What's on. the last time you had intercourse? Within, from warm up. From, from warm up? <laughs> from warm up and I know, regular. I don't, I don't go the warm up route. You go Never. on back pages or Craigslist. I don't go on Craigslist. No one's tweeted at you after a warm up and be like, hey, let's get a drink. It's happened occasionally. Let's get okay. lunch, coffee. Occasionally. Occasionally. But no. Non caffeinated tea. I don't. Uh, I, don't ho- I, I would hope to more. Yeah. But getting back to the excitement. <laughs> yes. I'm taking it one show at a time. Got it. Yep. Episode three, what's the problem with it? Tell us right Nothing, now. Nothing, no. Yeah. Three, oh. I, feel, I, I feel good about How it. How many Twitter followers do you have? Uh, 52, 53,000. Did you yeah. feel like they boosted after the Sunday show? I think. I didn't look. That's good. You know. And are you getting I, DM'd from women? Are they okay, DMing you? I'm not, I'm not thinking about the women. I, I want right. to get through this process of, you know what? I'll, When's you know, the last time you had sex? Hold on. Probably with, <laughs> honestly? Yeah. yeah. Within five months ago. Whoa. <laughs> That's good. Well, I, 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 one of my favorite episodes of your show is when you went out on that date with that girl, and I didn't know if that was, if you are no, dating. No, that was his sister at the food court you're talking about? No, yeah, no. That, yeah, that but, was a. But um, you went on a date, too. You went yes. On, yeah. I did go on a date. How and was that? With who? Uh, a famous girl? Sarah no. Silverman? The, no. Sarah Silverman? Mm-mm. Would you date I, in the industry? Would you kiss Sarah Silverman? On the lips, closed mouth. Yes, but long. Passionate yeah, you could do that. You could do that. Yeah. yeah. Tongue. So five months ago, yes. <laughs> five months ago, did you kiss that girl closed mouth or open mouth? I'm friends with her, and I've I've been with her. And you guys hook up? We've had. Yeah. We've had. A friends with benefits. Sixty nine. <laughs> no, not nineteen sixty nine. Can we? <laughs> I want to. I, I, I'm not thinking that way. 
I'm thinking about. I know. Felt like the most erotic, insane thing you could possibly ever do. And now it's like, ah, it's the worst. as an adult, it's, it really is like, ah, we're sixty-nine. Yes. Have you sixty-nine? We yes, haven't even course. gotten into these Twitter questions. I don't, okay, you want to read them? I'll read one. All right. All right. Bro, this is actually very okay. Brody, yes. are the episodes from Enjoy It from HBO or new? I think what these trying to ask are, are we watching the same episodes on Comedy Central as we saw on HBO? They are extended versions with some added chunks of something. Okay. And Question. they're technically longer. They went from 15 to 22 minutes. Question for Brody, did you color your beard? We answered that. Yes. That's Meteor Light, that's that. Then this one, in an email you sent back to me, you said you've been to Tampa. Where in Tampa have you played and will you be back? That's from Slasher Mini Films. I've done, I did like a guest spot at the Tampa Improv and I was kind of aggressive, like being Brody. And I remember the guy who ran the club and told me that the crowd just didn't want to be yelled at. So I remember that experience at the Tampa Improv. Have not performed anywhere else in Tampa other than there for Super Bowl week with Best Damn Sports Show. I did audience warm up out there. That was fun. That's it was cool. And I've been there for Major League Spring Training, the 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 New York Yankees. Got it. And my friend that I grew up was a coach of the New York Yankees for 12 years. So I would always go down to Tampa and hang out with. Are you uh, going back? I saw. I'm well. My friend is not there with the Yankees anymore. But, but in Tampa in general, do you have plans to go back? I like Tampa. Yeah. You know, they have a cool mall. Are they I, the I know Santa people Monica say, of Florida? Is it the Santa Monica, Florida? No. That's known for to be that. I would say somewhere in Miami, there's a Santa Monica, Florida. Who, that would be more down there. Five months ago, was it love making yeah. or like just hardcore? Just fucking? How do you hit it? <laughs> it, 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 it? It wasn't love making. It was more hardcore. Yeah, dirty. Yeah. Your place, her place. Car. My place. Your place. Oh, you got wow. posters up on the wall? Do I have posters? Or are you just living like an assassin on an air mattress? I'm off the air mattress. I don't think I have posters. You do. Uh, and I, <laughs> all right, how about this? When you are presenting that you're going to have sex, are you in full Brody mode? Or are you saying, we're going to do it? I'm never, I'm bringing in, I'm you never back. in full Brody. I'm getting an erection. <laughs> we're having it. Orgasm. It's to completion. <laughs> I don't really, no, I don't do that. So you're a little bit more, you are you put on a smooth Brody atmosphere when you are you're like people going Bryson. to the bone shop. Yeah. You're just so I would say pre, pre, you pre know, the, the, pre, the, yeah. no, not pre-cum. Well, oh. there's probably some there. I would say the courting process. Yes. I am humorous. Sure. And then I would say during the actual sexual process, I am. I am not tweeting. <laughs> I am passionate. There's kissing, there's talk. It's a and bit free zone. You're in the moment. No yeah. bit. And then, Absolutely. I mean, there may be a laugh if something happens. <laughs> sure. But, a and then when you're. You're gassy, a little gas comes out. Get a little phlegm in your throat. <laughs> you make a weird voice. <laughs> I would, I would comment on that, yes. I, I, I would try to ignore if I had gas. Um, phlegm in my mouth, I'd just spit. Wow. I'd, I'd get a clean Porn ex star and just style. spit. Just, just and not on her. I Wait, would of spit. course, of course, of course. I thought you'd on her. I wouldn't no. spit phlegm on a girl. Uh, no, yeah, I would that's, never that's accuse disrespectful. you of that. <laughs> so that's what I would do with that. But okay. I'm, I'm not like, All yes, right. let's have sex. All right, that's a, that is a, that answers okay, yeah, that answers my question. Okay. That's what I thought. Oh, you thought it would be that way? I, I thought you were like uh, uh, Christian Bale in American Psycho. You're like flexing your muscles and looking <laughs> yeah. in the mirror. No. No, I, I've... You no. never, really you've never lifted a kettlebell during intercourse. I'll say this. Mid-coitus. Um, if I'm... I'm not, I'm, uh, I'm comfortable with being behind. And yeah, I've looked down at sure. my thighs and my ab region. You've seen it. I'm yeah. contracting. I'm keep. I'm not, I'm keeping You're like D'Angelo. You're like D'Angelo. He does that? Well, he's naked in that video and he's. he's I've shaking. seen that video. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some of that. All right. You're doing some core work. I'm doing core work. I, I love this line of questioning. We're just going to, we're going <laughs> to. I, I like that, that Paul's leading. 
Eric's jumping in. Let's go ahead with an Eric lead and Got Paul it. jump in. Go. Oh, man, I feel so on the spot. Why? I mean, I, like, I don't know. I just want to talk about. What do you want to talk about? Let me, I'll, okay, I'll ask you a question because yeah. I'm friends with a, a guy that you go on the road with. Who? Uh, Byron Bowers. Oh, love him. And he, he oh, tells like Byron me. Allen. What, what? <laughs> Byron <laughs> Allen. Comics Unleashed. I turned that show down. Wow. Byron Allen Comics Unleashed is basically wow, wow. It, it, like you know there you know it, it, he he segues so crazy because basically it's a talk show format where he sets people up to do their stand up material, <laughs> but it's so shoehorned. It's like this. It's like now you have a thing about little dogs and big dogs and walking down the street in Venice. Now what is that story? Like, it's so, he gives so many details. No one has. No one casually has that story. That's, I just can't do it. It's just something I yeah. I, I just. And I'm not, I'm not a snob. It's no, just, I just no. didn't want to do it. And they've asked me. I've been chased down to do it. I did it and I kind oh, of bombed. It? Yeah, years ago. Do you years feel, ago. and I'm not knocking the show, Byron Allen is a mogul. He lives in Malibu. He's had to deal with PCH, like mm -hmm. Ben Vereen. Do you know how he made his money? <laughs> Real people. Well, no, he made his money because he went to those... When you do a his movie, mother is a mogul or something. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I heard this is how I heard he made. You want money. to go? I know. I think I know. Well, he, you know, you have, when you do a movie, they have those like things where you sit down with like a million different reporters all over the, you know, like and you ask you ask the same five questions all the time. He was the first person to realize that he should sell that to foreign countries. So he did like, oh, I'm the Johnny Carson of the United States. I sit down with Brad Pitt, George Clooney, uh, yeah. you know, Bill Murray, and so he basically farmed out this giant like celebrity review like. Interview show. Wait, 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 wait like press conference stuff? No, like, it'd be, yeah, like, uh, um, he had, it was uh, called, it's I like the it was two fold out chairs, yes. like EBK kind His of thing. His big thing would, would be coming Man up next, next, we've got Michael Jordan here. On however you Byron it be. Allen. And then he would be like, Michael, man, it is. And when I was a kid, I, I didn't realize that this is all not like, you know, like he just was going to Hilton with a hundred other reporters. Like, Michael, oh, oh my gosh. We, this was amazing. Now, last time I saw you, what, what were you up right. to? And like, and it was so casual and like he would make it so. Um, like, and, and you did his show. How do you yeah. feel? Can't, can't knock the hustle. No, I you did can't. bad. I did bad. I think I did a joke making fun of Christianity and I got like a like record did scratch. They, they cut it out? <clears throat> oh, yeah. That did not make it to air oh, at all. That's, that's a, that's a <laughs> and I had a shirt with Tupac on it wearing a Carmen Miranda hat on his head that I thought was funny. <laughs> did they tell you to change no, that? No, but they were like, they had, they seemed like like weird towards me. Weird. It was weird energy. Yeah, it's not your, me. honestly, if I represented you back you then, no. I would say no. Don't do it. Mm. It's but you did it. Let's get my reps in the phone. And you know what? You made mistakes. It's it, you're being a human. Yeah. And look what you got now. I, I fucked up. You, you, yeah, you fucked up. I blew it. You made a but mistake. But that's the place. You didn't to blow do it. it. I blew, you didn't blow it. I blew it. No, you didn't. I I look back on that stain. It's like a stain on my. There's things that I have on the internet that I hate. Yeah. One thing that you hate. Um, things on the internet that yeah. I hate. Uh, Eric, when he was on Byron Allen. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. No, I, I, there's just things in me talking or whatever. Or I'm sure there's, I don't go, honestly, I don't go on the internet typing up my videos yeah. or comments. But you're I just, a big tweet, Twitter guy. Well, I tweet because it's kind of fun. I have time. People like it. But I honestly don't see myself being Tweeting as much. I'm gonna. Now I gotta you're, tweet. You, you're transitioning from being uh, internet kind of guy who is more accessible to now being a TV star, which you need to kind of distance yourself. You can't be that reachable. You have to be aspirational. To your fans, have to look to you. I want to be okay. like him. I yeah, can't be. Okay, him. I see that, and I see where you're going. I can't have that attitude until when this is all said and done. Right, of course, and this is on camera, obviously, but off camera, you might think differently. You might think like, yeah, well, I can't. You're buying a Hummer. No, yeah. I've done a... I, <laughs> You're at the Hummer dealership. No. You're I'm, hanging out with the stars of Comedy Central. Yep. You are just You're doing, you're doing some no, video that, on Brickleberry. But, but that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know why it's not affecting me? Because you and Tosh. I've done 2,500 audience warm-ups. Okay. Yeah, I've been on Tosh. I've hung out with... You've hung out with Tosh? Uh, at the Laugh Factory. Yep. And... Uh, I mean, I know tons of major leaguers. I've been to major dinners. Major lasers. 
Major, Major Lazer as a DJ or a band. <laughs> I've been, you know, I've had dinners with important people. I've had access to things. So Doc Ellis? I did not meet Doc, Al Doc Ellis. If they came to you and offered you the Doc Ellis story, would you do it? He's African-American. I'm not, I'm not, what do you want to be? I'm not casting see, a, see, first of all, don't see be racist. Thomas Howell and Soul don't, Man, don't. funny movie. Ray, Dong, Chong. Is, I've been wanting to do that on our podcast and I wanted to be like, that movie has to be super racist, right? I mean, you a, didn't do blackface for our Shirio though. No, I and did I not. I wanted you to, so bad. When I showed up to set, I was like, oh, but you're going to get the shoe polish. No, no. I wanted you, why didn't you at least do some tan or something? <laughs> did that thought come in your no, head? No, a lot of people have asked me why I did this Arshirio Paul thing where I played uh, Arsenio Hall. Oh, okay. So I bummed. Me, why I did was you so do it in blackface? You did do it in blackface? No, I was not you doing it in blackface. Why did not. you? Why? I think that would be weird. Were your hands in blackface? <laughs> well, he's got long fingers. He's known for that. Yeah. Arsenio well, Hall is a very nice guy, face, honestly. by the way. Um, you should have. I Should I have done that? <laughs> it's ridiculous that you didn't. <laughs> I think... It would have looked amazing. <laughs> it would have been offensive. Right, it would have been edgy. Edgy. Been you like South Park? People like yeah, edgy right, stuff. Yeah, there you go. I should have done it in blackface. I mean, <laughs> I'm doing the majority of my things in the future in blackface. <laughs> I mean... I wouldn't do it. You're only going to get in league in blackface? I wouldn't do it. For that bit, I would have done it. Yeah. If you're going to commit to that bit... Tracy Allman did blackface in one sketch. Like a did she blackface get in is a very tricky thing to do. It is. Uh, I have never felt the need to do it or the want to do it. Like I never I crossed. Accept that. Well, Thank there's you. blackface like minstrel show, like right. mammy, like right. big lips, and and then there's just like maybe putting on a bronzer when Jimmy Kimmel does Carl Malone, right? He does Carl Malone. Yeah. Well, you're, you're more of a Cr Clyde the Slide Drexel kind of guy, right? Clyde, Clyde Drexler. Clyde Drexler. What is it, Drexel or Drexler? Clyde the, the slide. Clyde, Clyde the slide. No, not the slide. The <laughs> Clyde glide. The Clyde the slide. Detroit Pistons. Better or Detroit Pistons who won the NBA championship. Better or worse than the '86 Mets as far as uh, the caliber of people on that team. Go. People? Yeah. I am friends. Oh, you got Sandy Koufax. Not the '86. Ty Mets. Cobb. No. '86 <laughs> Mets. There's a book called The Year Brandy. the Bad Guys I, Won. I know all about it. I would say the, the, the bad boys in Detroit were better people. I, I'm Got friends it. with John Sally. Remember when Randy I know about Johnson hit that bird with the pitch? Yes, I, that happened in spring training. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to light a firecracker here like you did on Jezelnik? <laughs> you don't do that to me. This is in Atlanta. I've heard about your live shows at these rock clubs. They stand. Woo! <laughs> What else were we talking? I like when you ask me questions. You, you come on, Eric, ask a question. I just, I, why? I feel like so on the spot. I'm not prepared. I just want to have a conversation. And we haven't been. You're circumcised. Yes, but that's what I ask. I'm gonna. Okay, I'll ask right. you a question, Paul. I yeah, I already got my answers. <clears throat> You're active. Sure. You work on a lot of shows. Sure. How do you, how do you stay fresh? How do you stay? You, you, I'll say physically fresh and then mentally alert to where you have to be in different characters. You have to uh, you have to be, you know, in the league, you have that character. Right. And then you're on your adult swim show, you have, have that, that character. character. And then you've been on some other things, you have that different character. Characters. Or different energies. He wrote for John McEnroe. <laughs> I did didn't you? Know that. He wrote I for did. John McEnroe, had a talk show, and he wrote for I remember him. that talk show. John McEnroe, how did you know that? You told me that. Oh, I, it blew my it blew my mind. John McEnroe had this talk show out in New Jersey, and like he was kind of even himself. You told me that at, at Twelve Shiny Nickels. I don't know how we got on the topic. <laughs> That's a comedy you club. Wrote for, show. You Mac wrote for John McEnroe, and right he told here. you, "Hey, do whatever you want." Basically, John McEnroe was bamboozled uh, into. Love that movie, Spike, Spike Lee. Black 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 it all together. Face. Blackface tie-in. <laughs> They were like, we want to do a best damn sports show, but you... I worked on, you got it, 1,000 <laughs> audience warm-ups with John Sally. What team? Pistons. Two world championships. <laughs> they basically said, do this, you're going to do a best damn sports show. And then they had all these people, and then all those people started falling away. And it was only left with John McEnroe, and they went to a traditional, like, 
like Johnny Carson style talk show like <laughs> format where he would pick up a guitar at certain points and walk over to the band and jam out. It's amazing. I like that. It was, well, we were watching that in our writer's room. We watched that. We watched Magic Johnson's show and Chevy oh. Chase's what do you show. Mean? Magic Johnson's show is one of my favorite <laughs> things the best. Of all. And Howard, we watched the one where Howard Stern comes yes. on and, just and, and he rips him a new ass. It was uncomfortable. Well, it was because, like awkward. Because Howard Stern every day would get on the air and talk about Magic Johnson and rip him apart. And then Magic Johnson hired that actor. Craig Shoemaker, you got it, the love master. <laughs> Am I right or no? <laughs> Who the he fuck he is that? was the he love master. He was on the show. Craig Shoemaker, the love master. Was yeah, yeah. Is that his like stand-up moniker? Yeah. Why does he do a lot of the relationship? Uh, yeah, he'll be his his regular comedian self, and then he turns into the love master during the show. Oh, so then he has like a different voice. He's he the love master. Do you use a different voice? Do you ever have a different personality? Are you, you that, saying I'm you schizophrenic? That, you you that, say I'm, you say I take Latuda, which is a. You, you had know, that have a sample set. You had that one voice when you had Flem in your That was Flem. That doesn't count. Uh, I don't do impressions. I wish uh, I'm getting a little bit better. Do an impression of me. Do an impression of me. I can't do one. I do, do Dean. Do, I do Dean Del Rey, who's a funny uh, a guy a comedian. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You rock. <laughs> oh yeah. You rule. Do Bruce Bruce. He's Bruce at, Bruce, I love Bruce Bruce. I don't know that guy. I can do Paul Garth. Bruce, Bruce. I can do a Garth Bruce, Bruce Kemp. Bruce of local later this year. Local LA weatherman Garth uh, Kemp. Okay. Uh, it's going to be about seventy-five degrees out in the valley today, and then we've got uh, a nice marine layer out in the val. Out in the, you'll be able to escape. I'm not doing. You said it well. Sean Kemp, but That's you Sean see Kemp? that voice? I did bring it down. Brody Sean coming. Kemp has like twenty kids. You know that. Right? And I met and Sean Kemp. Martin. You got it in Seattle, where I sold. T-shirts for the Sonics in the team shop. Sean Kemp, there, 40% off. You got it, buddy. You slam dunked. You're from Elk Heart, Indiana. Went straight to the NBA when you couldn't do well in community college, but you dunked, and now you're back in Seattle, and you have a restaurant, and you're an all-around good guy. And I remember you used to drive through the Kentucky Fried Chicken Drive area. In blackface. In blackface. Okay, here, <laughs> here we go. Here we are. It comes to the, the, the point in the show. We're going to ask you. It always comes up. Your Oscar picks right now. Do it. Best movie. Go. I haven't seen enough movies. Just give pick me, it. You got to go with your gut. You got to go with but what give you're me, reading. Can you get, but okay. uh, well, this is what I'm hearing. Give me some like options. Twelve Years a Slave. I've heard All that's a lost. good one. But you got to pick one. You guys got to. Okay. Well, give me some. Medea saves Christmas. <laughs> uh, I need to see Bad Grandpa. Uh, Hunger Games dose. Hunger Games dose. Is that dose. eligible? It could be. Could be. Okay. You gotta believe. Okay, give me some. Give me. I think. Right. I think uh, the butler. Uh, the butler. Uh, devious I, maids. I think the butler's gonna win something. <clears throat> I think the butler will win something. Butler will win something for mm. Oprah's performance. The Mentalist. I love The Mentalist. I watch it with Just my mom. Just on vacation Sunday this night. weekend. Yeah, got it. You were on vacation night. with Robin Tooney, star of The Mentalist. Really? This weekend. Yeah, it was very exciting. Name Not with rubber. her. Not with her. <laughs> saw her across the. Uh, <laughs> saw her across the thing, and I said, I think that's the girl from The Craft. <laughs> and uh, then I found out she's on The Mentalist. <laughs> 12 did days do, Did you do warm up on The Mentalist? Just to get the crew hyped up no, for the I've, shoot? <laughs> have you ever been brought into a private event? Yeah, I did uh, shows for the Texas Rangers. Corporate event. I've done shows for a couple corporate things, but I've spoken at the baseball scouts meeting in front of like every Major League Baseball owner, the commissioner. Hall of Famers, I did that. That's kind of. You ever a get a massage event. from a guy? Oh, a private one. Yeah. I had a private male massage in Bangkok. It was not of any sensuality in nature. It's therapeutic. It was therapeutic. I've had. I've had plenty of. I've had mall massages. massages. Who's a better massage, a male or a female? It doesn't matter. Even in sports, sports massage. Sports. There's female sports masseuse. Is on teams. I would think that inner thigh. Are you getting your hip adductor I don't massaged? Want, that's a girl. I would be kind of. So okay you're not with comfortable that. enough in your sexuality to have your hip adductor massaged. How high up? <clears throat> to the fucking just the. Do they just, have the towel just, like right towel. Up yeah, there? you got a diaper on. A diaper. I'd be okay with that. I'm getting hip adductor. I'm getting piriformis glute. 
Okay. Maximus. Guys, let's talk about rolfing now. I, I, yeah. <laughs> body work rolfing. I've had rolfing. I've had rolfing. <laughs> so structural had, engineering. I had that let's when I... Let's talk about uh, Alexander Technique. Let's talk it. about Feldenkrais. Is yeah, name Feldenkrais. No, Alexa FM Alexander was a guy that invented a technique for posture, for body mechanics. You know what's great with posture? Obviously yoga, kettlebells is great for posture because when you're doing kettlebells, it just forces your body don't to- Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Also, this move, about form. this move is- You want to do one? How, do you have a kettlebell? That's a kettlebell swing. You want me to, uh, I don't have one in here. I, can I show- But I mean, I would imagine when you are, five months ago, this is helping too. Yeah, there you go. It helps for the, the hip. Yeah. Can I do? So who was the who was the woman that you had sex with? I won't tell you. I can't tell she, you. Uh, she in the, it's a, a comedian. Comic. It's a comedian. No, from the comedy store. No, uh, she's been there, but not a comedian. Audience, audience. She's been audience. Where could I do? Eliza my... Schlesinger. No, where is she's it? not a comedian. Is, Eliza is, but it, not. Is. Is. Where do I live? You heard it here. He called Eliza Schlesinger <laughs> not a comedian. Fired. Okay, I'm right here. I'm standing up. This would be. A, I'd probably do this. Imagine me having a 35 pound kettlebell. I'll probably start off actually with no kettlebell. And then I would probably grab, because I'm not in shape, a 25 and then a 35. 35 is good. So, but I just like I to have- I 55. I like, like to have my, uh, my legs <laughs> here. Yeah. My legs here, I'm, I'm holding the kettlebell. And then it's just about driving up <laughs> off your, your back, your heels. Your, I'm driving up, and this is just guiding. So what's it. working? Your heels are working there. Or your, or your my, abs, how my much abs. How much you weigh? How much you weigh? Right now? Yeah. About two oh three. What's your ideal? I should be Let's talk about targets. I should probably <laughs> targets great. I would probably like to be at one ninety five. So yeah. basically, you're right now in the Tarzana of weight, and you want to get to the Calabasas. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not saying if, if if I had the opportunity one day, I would not be against staying in Calabasas. So, staying, 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 staying. Not, we're just from the police. Yeah, Rudy, just, I think I have to leave in a couple of minutes. I don't want to miss out on any of the other segments. Though. Let me do. Can I do? Yes. Two kettlebell swings. Yes. Yeah. Okay, here I'm we go. For it. So I'm going to start off with one hand. It's a we'll say a thirty. So driving down up. Driving down up, and then I'll do this. I'll toss it. Boom. Whoa. Toss it. Catch it. I'm driving up with my heels, not the balls of my feet. It's probably actually best to be barefoot. Then you really start getting your your foot muscles. I get those. I have those New Balance shoes. Down. Those New Balance shoes the, the that form to your yeah, feet. Yeah, I have those. That would be. Yeah. What about the Skechers that give you exercise as you walk? Oh yeah. That, shape Joe ups. Montana. The yeah. Joe shape Montana ups. shape ups. That is not good for kettlebells. Joe Montana was on the 49ers. Boom. And the Kansas City Chiefs. And what college did he go to? Michigan State. Uh, DeVry. No. Notre Dame. <laughs> University of Phoenix Online. <laughs> it wasn't around They have around a great then. football program. <laughs> All right, we got to go to break. <laughs> what? I think we're coming back. I don't know. Paul we has are... to leave. Paul has to get the fuck Paul's out Paul's got to get going. Sorry. Eric, are you going to stick I'm around? I'm sticking. Eric I'm is sticking, sticking around. Right. Paul Shear's got to go. Check him out on... Don't even worry about it. <laughs> oh, why? You John know, you can. Can. Get, But John I don't want to say it. All right, you can say it. It's just for it. practice. All right, great. Check out Paul on the... Three, two, one. Check out Paul on the league. It's on FXX. You can also enjoy his show on the Adult Swim Network, SVU, San Diego Division. <laughs> And he's an all-around great guy, human giant. Get the DVDs. And I'm honored to have him here <laughs> at the show. John McEnroe Show. John McEnroe Show. Get those. Seriously, Google it. Google John McEnroe Show. I'm sure you'll see something. Get the John McEnroe uh, Show DVDs. And honored to have you here. Thanks a lot, Paul. Thank you, Brody. I Thank wish I could, I, I could stay the whole time. Yeah. Good to see you. We're going to come back. Eric's sticking around it's for hanging. a couple segments, My show's I guess. over. Your show's over? I'm done. We're, we're yeah, we're chilling. Oh, next you're year. saying uh, yeah. you're the Eric Andre Oh, he's show. running back. This guy's I on four go. television shows right now. I gotta go. They're rolling right okay. now. He yeah, I'm, go. I'm in the middle right of right 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 for I'm another crap. show. Right. All right, <laughs> Paul's good. I saw him parking. He's in the structure. Maybe just a couple levels down. All the way it's down. It's not bad. At no, the bottom. No, yeah. I went two levels down. See, I didn't understand. Uh, well, I don't get into this. All right, well. Oh, so you're... 
All right, you wanted to be two, not four. No, I just didn't understand what the valet situation was because everyone kept on waving me down. Then I got to the very bottom, and then there was just a dead end. Oh, I've had that happen. Yeah. Right. You know what? You got to turn a negative situation. I did. I, I practiced my reverse driving. I was like, this is fun. I never got to reverse. <laughs> there you go. Being conscious, though, of the world events and wanting to make sure I drove safely. Thank you very much. Paul Share, everybody. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with Positive Push with Stephen, Rudy Stevens. Hey everybody, I'm Brody Stevens. If you enjoy medication like Lexapro, Latuda, Lamictal, and Clonopin, give me a jingle. Brody Stevens, enjoy it. Sundays at midnight, starting December 1st. Did I do that right? Not bad. I'm Stephen Brody Stevens, and welcome back to Positive Push on the JPN VPN network. It's Jash. It's YouTube subscriptions. We're having a good time here with Eric, Andre, all around funny guy. Honored to have him here. He's a friend. He's always been supportive. He texts me. He texts me back. It's, I, like, I like the relationship. I, 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 I enjoy it. We've, we've always had a good friendship. Yeah, we've never since, had... Um, since our bar in Brooklyn. I remember that night. I mean, you were really... You had me dying. Thank you. You went to a pregnant woman, you go, pregnant woman at the bar, very responsible. I can do whatever I want. Watch this, bartender, Zima, now. <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, this I guy's hilarious. That. that was fun. Yeah. Um, you were in the zone, but you're I, very hard on yourself afterwards. That's what I, don't I know, like but to I'm say. not going to be hard on myself anymore. I don't like seeing that. That's, a, that's those over with. Pa- those negative neural pathways are there. You got to put the positive neural but pathways. But they're out now. I'm okay. yelling. They're out now. Okay, you gotta you gotta dig the positive pr- neural pathways in. I do because your brain goes on a track. I do, I do like a track. Yes. Do you say affirmations in the mirror? No. You should. You know what I used to. Put Why don't up? you say ten affirmations in the morning? Like what? Give me an example. I'm a I'm a talented comedian. Say it ten times in the morning. <sighs> I, I I don't. Why you jump rope? I don't feel that way. It doesn't matter. Just say it. That's going to change it. That'll change it. I'm telling you. I don't believe right? it. I don't feel that's I'm the an... That's the negative thing. It's not negative. Yes. I, it doesn't I, matter. I don't have... even. Look. Take the pressure off Eric, yourself. Eric, I've done this before. Take the I've goddamn done Chelsea. Pre- tw- take the goddamn times. pressure off yourself. Have you done? And so, I've never situation. done Chelsea. I'm not, I've never it, done Chelsea. But I'm not saying I've never that. done Chelsea. I didn't want to say that. I've and I never wasn't. done Chelsea. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. Even if you don't believe it, at first, just say it. Please, can you do that for me? Ten times, that's all I'm asking. I sh- you should do it a hundred times. But ten times in the morning, just say one positive sentence over and over again. Whether do you, you think believe John, it or not. Do you think John Wooden, the, the world's best coach ever, said to his players, I need you to look in the mirror and say ten times? No, but I bet you he did that. The, what's the famous baseball player every time he went to the... Every time he went up to bat, he would look down at his hands and he'd say... I forget his name. He said, I'm so-and-so, the best fucking baseball player of all time. Who's really? That guy? I don't remember. We'll find out. We'll My buddy it. knows. Okay. My buddy does a uh, thing called um, El- uh, Elvis uh, uh, Elvis Costello, where he pl- he's an Elvis impersonator, yes. but he does Elvis Costello covers. I like it. He knows the baseball player. Are I got to call him. Call Brandon. him. Call him. He's a good guy. He's a good Very guy. Very talented guy. But you should, can you please just start doing it? Doing what? I don't give a shit about this asshole coach in Nebraska. Stop cursing. What he's John <laughs> Wooden's an a-hole coach. You don't do that to me. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Can you please just do it for All me? Right, I'll try. You'll something. see. You'll well, see the a positive effect. What you are telling positive. You. All right. I'm telling you. I went through it, man. When I first went out here, I was dark. I was Trent Reznor dark. Nine Inch Nails. Really? I had dark. the downward spiral on full blast every day in my mind emotionally. And I rose up out of the ashes like a phoenix. I was depressed. I was in a K-hole when I first moved out here. For a m- metaphoric K-hole. What's a K-hole? Special K is like they give it to cats to kill you, them. But you kids took do it. That? Kids do it you're, recreationally. You were taking special no, K? No, kids do special K, and then they get in a K-hole. Okay. Go. But I, I'm not doing. You're in a K. K-hole through another. Well, it was a metaphoric route. K-hole, yeah. And I rose up. You did? Oh, yeah. But I, I never realized you were in a K-hole. I oh, when, I first, when I first moved here, I was miserable. Okay. Well, that's I told normal. Him, I told him my normal. car. This girl I liked didn't like me back. That's I lost normal. my job. That's I was normal. on unemployment. That's not I, that's I normal. had no money. I was miserable. My roommates hated me. I've had roommates hate me. <clears throat> I've lost friends. I lost friends over this 
television show. Not this particular one here. That's good that you're saying that because I'm just trying. Hey, being honest, you're being. I'm real. being honest. I'm being vulnerable. I'm just saying I started doing all that positive shit, mm -hmm. and you think it's hippy dippy at first. I and don't. You're embarrassed, and you don't want to tell your friends, but that shit, psh, you rise up. Yeah, you, say I am. Whatever you say after that shapes your reality. I it's totally true. Been doing it. It's I mean, true. look what it did. Put it out in the universe. Eric's totally. positive reality <laughs> brought in a a holistic woman who gets it. <laughs> And we I talk. And I think she'll be able to help us a little bit because you ha you're having yeah. some. You ha you're. I don't. You're not having issues. You're just have, You're having these thoughts. I have these thoughts. You have a show, the Eric Andre Show, two seasons. I'm sure you've had to deal with and and think about and seeing your name on or in your face on a billboard and going out on the road and having hundreds of people coming out to see you. I know there's pressure involved with that and things of that nature. So. I'm glad that you're reaching out to me and helping me with that. But let's find some options, some alternatives. Maybe we can combine our two feelings. And we have a guest here today, and this is about being positive. Uh, she is into holistic methods of life with some focusing on yoga as well. Let's go ahead and give her a nice hand. Say hello to <laughs> Ciara. Hi, guys. <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Absolutely. So what is holistic? You do like those like um, backdoor blood transfusions? That oh, gosh. Get... <laughs> no. <laughs> backdoor um, blood transfusions? That yeah, that's scary. what like Alonzo Mourning and those guys would do, right? What's that? Is it they, <laughs> heal? It makes you play better ball. Okay. You have new blood. You have but like children's you, blood. I don't know anything about that. What does that mean? <laughs> you can't legally, you're not allowed to get a blood transfusion legally. Okay, black market. Unless you needed it. So it's like black market blood transfusion. Black yeah. market. Yeah. You didn't. Black market. Well, I don't see color. Black door. Black door. Black yeah, he, door. Yeah, black door. Okay, so. Okay. <laughs> she uses Burt's Bees. Um, <laughs> just, just we're talking about that. I don't know. Wasn't that true? Yeah, yeah, I do. And I guess that. Yeah, he did. So it's there you go. Um, so holistic has a focus um, on nature and the self and healing and uh, so like holistic nutrition for example which is what my main focus free. is well yeah gluten that's organic. a whole other story Apples. but yeah organic no chemicals no pesticides no major processing how do you the know food. there's no pesticides uh, well, organic is a loose term these days, and it's really scary. But you know, you get organic. Um, you can't that's falsely the best advertise it. They say no do. pesticides, no pesticides. If I yeah. go to uh, Trader Joe's or to a local grocery store, chain Ralph's, here, Ralph's, John's, sure, John's, Vons, <laughs> Pavilions. A, yeah. There's several. There's several. That's all I'm saying. If I go there and get an apple, yes, and I eat it, it's crunchy, it's red. Poison. And you're I eating poison. Eat you're and ingesting is that poison. Not, you're saying that's if it's not organic, it's got pesticides if, all over it. Yeah, if it's not organic, there's multiple things wrong with the apple. Okay. There's a plethora of pesticides and herbicides on it. One, which is glyphosate, it causes neurological disorders, cancer, all kinds of stuff. Glyphosate depletes uh, the minerals in the soil. So whereas we used to have around 70, there's around three. So you're not really getting all of the minerals in our produce anymore. And then it has this chemical on it, which is bad for the body. Okay, so you yeah. can't, you're, you're saying right now, you can't get, so eating that apple is just, it's bad for you or it's just kind of zero? They it's, spray pesticides yeah, on it, like insecticides. Poison. Okay. Right. So <laughs> okay. if you get organic, they don't spray the pesticides. That's All what right. you should eat. And, you and then there's more minerals in the soil okay, as give well. me an example where you would get an organic apple. I go to Lassen's all the time, but a lot of stores, if they're in season, um, like we'll Wood Whole carry. Foods, in Wood LA Trader anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in LA anyway, yes. You can find organic fruit in so, the city. So, or go to the farmer's market. Yeah, farmer's markets. I was just going to say that. Let's the best thing, support local farmers. They don't have one. Local local oh, farm. no, okay. Farm Fresh to you, local organic farm, they will ship it to your house. It's like 30 bucks. You can get a big box of... And what's that's what that I've been gonna, trying to okay. tell you for what, how let long. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> yeah. What's that going to do to me? Is that going to give me a better mood? Is that going to make me... Everything. Smarter? Is it going to help me live longer? Is it going to relieve stress? Is it going to relieve anxiety? Eating that organic apple. Well, organic is, I mean, it's just food. That's the way we were intended to eat. Uh, you know, I forget who said it, but um, let thy medicine be thy food and thy food be thy medicine. Tyler Perry. 
famous director. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, I, I absolutely believe that natural food that doesn't have toxins on it can heal the body. Whatever, whatever you need healing for, there's a fruit, a vegetable, an herb that will help your body heal itself. Okay. You can't that. be ingesting those pesticides. Okay, okay, let, okay and then hold the on. Meat, they clean the meat with ammonia. The cows are eating Factory corn. They're meant meat. Right, they're hold on. to be thing. eating I'm gonna stop grass. Okay. <laughs> and they're pumping them full of uh, uh, hormones, hormones antibiotics, antibiotics. These GMO cows are feed. sick. You're eating sick animals in these right. concentration they're camps, they're they factory are. farms. It's it's disgusting. I, okay, I, I get where you're Constantly coming Constantly polluting your body. And guess what? Your brain's an organ. So if your brain has good food, it's going to function better. Okay. Now, because this show is about aspects of this, what I'll talk about. Can we? Can I just say the last 50 years, we've been eating food differently in the last 50 years True. than in the previous 5,000, 10,000 years. The, the way that the food is modified and they're putting coloring and the tomatoes are colored. Why are we living longer? Medicine has gotten better. But we'd be living better if the food we ate is healthier. We're sicker longer. You know, when you get, when you reach a certain age, people are getting diabetes and cancer and Alzheimer's and they're suffering through all of these awful diseases that makes them. But if they're eating these apples back in the 30s, <laughs> how were they? No, in the 30s Maybe. there was less pesticides and it was less factory farming. Okay, so let me ask a question here. What do you think? Okay, I understand that. I've heard about the pesticides, the... This guy's at Pink's Hot Dogs every five minutes. He's eating <laughs> junk. You no, got I don't do Pink's. I do Cupid's out in the valley as a celebration dog. <laughs> and I do Dodger dogs. Um, okay, what do you... I understand... She's going to save you. Okay. Exchange I... emails. You guys should exchange emails after the yeah. show. Sierra, I look at it this way. I get that, that it's, uh, you know, there's pesticides and all that. But I'm a vitamin guy, a supplement guy, and I okay. feel as though, okay, I'm eating that food, but I'm also taking a lot of fiber and psyllium husk. So that food, that pesticide or that meat that's not you know, what it should be doesn't stay in my system. It doesn't have a chance to really uh, ferment in my, in my gut. colon, my gut, and affect me. It's out. And then I take vitamins such as MSN, which is a sulfur, which is a detox and, and keeps your cells uh, malleable. I believe that's a word. <laughs> malleable, and malleable. It helps with your lungs. I, I've noticed, like, yeah, I have phlegm, but if I coughed, it would be white phlegm. I've noticed <laughs> just through taking MSM. And I do take, because just this day and age, it is hard to sit down and have that meal. I will supplement with a, a scoop of greens mm -hmm. because it is impossible to eat, you know, a pound of broccoli and all that stuff. And I'm not saying is. this is it, sure. but as a supplement, and it's got to be organic, I would think. Absolutely. I do not the green, processed. I do the red. So I do yeah. the green, I do the red, I do the upper other supplements. You do and, uppers? I don't do uppers. Okay. I do, I do a, a sativa. Um, marijuana <laughs> talk. You got it. Legal in a, not America. Oh, here. yeah. So were that's what to, I Were do. we supposed to switch seats? We was, were, but I think no, it's, no, I think it's all right. Oh, you want to switch seats? Okay. Because I feel like I'm taking over. And I you were. I no. want her to chime I'm, in. I'm okay. so happy that you were also so informed. I get so pumped when I see other oh, people that are on the man, like, same on, page. I'm like, yeah. I am on board. Very okay. Good. So I gave you that, uh, you know, that was my feeling. What, what, do, you, what okay. do you say to that or that thought process? Okay, um, here's what I'm thinking. Um, as long as your supplements are organic and they aren't processed, for example, there's your typical vitamin C that you go to the store and get is made from ascorbic acid, which is actually derived from GMO corn, um, is not effective. It's a synthetic vitamin and your body doesn't recognize it so it's not a pure form okay so you go to the vitamin you know you go to vitamin shop or you go to a, a, a high, not a high-end but a, a, a you know high-end vitamin shop sure so you do find i do i do look for a good multi that doesn't mm -hmm. have i try to keep it as natural mm -hmm. as possible i also okay. look for raw vitamins yeah too. Raw make sure they're not can. like heated 
you know, to the point where they're a powder, then they lose a lot of their nutrients and effectiveness. Okay. So I'll, um, if I know I'm not going to eat a pound of broccoli, sometimes I'll juice greens, you know, to get to get the benefits of them yes. if I don't have supplements. The other thing about eating junk or eating whatever you want and then also taking vitamins, there are certain foods that are anti-nutrients or can prevent you from assimilating nutrients and minerals properly, which isn't very healthy or good. No. Um, and on top of that, um, I just like supporting organic farming practices and, and voting with my dollar. I will go buy the raw dairy or do whatever I can to get the healthiest food because I want to support those farmers and the type of They're world that I want to live like in. Shit in those factory it's, farms. Uh, it's disgusting. It is dis you have no, And the, farmers the, generally don't do that. You're talking about big corporations yeah, as opposed factory. to like yeah. the, the guy yeah. out in the Only middle like of the Only like three or four corporations own like the majority of the factory farms in America. Yeah. All right. Tyson, something else. You yeah, see most food things in? that you eat. Tell them to watch yeah, that one that changed that. my life. Netflix. It's amazing. It I changed my life. She's got yeah. Netflix. Watch that. Okay, I'm going to watch. Forks Over Knives is a good one. I'm going to watch those. They're on Netflix most yeah. likely. All right, on listen. Uh, Ciara? Also watch yeah. Love Actually. It's a good movie. <laughs> Sierra, I'm glad, I'm glad you came it's by. It's Sierra. It's Sierra. I said Sierra. Yeah. I was thinking of the mountains. Mountain oh, fresh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, Hey, I made a mistake. <laughs> be a little bit more okay. polite to okay. the guests. I am being polite. Ciara, yes. thank you for being here. Yes. I, I wanted you around longer, and maybe we'll bring you back because I feel like there's a lot of information. I thought we were going to do some stretching or something. Do you want to do Yeah, that's why time? I wore okay. this. What the All right, <laughs> so real quick, we got, we'll got we do, we'll stretch it out. Well, no pun intended. A couple minutes. Eric and I both do comedy. Eric's very flexible. Running around, I oh, mean. I do audience warm-up. I got to run. So a lot of running. We got to stay flexible. What kind of exercise would you say that maybe we could do before we perform? Something like that. You can actually, if you want to demonstrate, and then we'll try and uh, we'll see. I bet you we know okay, what you're well, doing. Okay, well, before you perform, I was just going to show you some yoga-influenced uh, stretching to okay. just sort of get all over kind of. Should we stand? Yeah. With, sun we'll, we're going to all stand. We're all going to yeah, stand. We're going to adjust the cameras. Sunrise. Okay, we're, you all stay. You want to stay in the center? We'll be behind you. This is like Galad. Remember him? Wait, where do I go? Okay, we're right here. We're right okay. to these cameras. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hi, so I'm Stephen Brody Stevens, and welcome to Positive Push. <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted to ask you. Okay. <laughs> Why did you have a stage name? Why not Stephen Brody? Because he's a baseball player. Uh, Stephen Brody uh -huh. got picked on. Yeah. Brody protects little Stephen. <laughs> but now I've combined it. Stephen Brody Stevens. All right, we're going to do some yoga here. Yoga-infused moments for Eric and I to chime yeah. into before we and go on stage. And you gotta stop eating okay. that junk. You do. I'm not eating no, junk. No dairy, no red meat, no... Not, one at a time. Bread turns into sugar. One at a time. And we're addicted to sugar, too. Yeah, you know one that. at a time. It's as, as addictive culture, as cocaine. It is. That's what they say. They I'm really concerned about these couches. Can we do one at a time with you? Yeah, one at a time. I'm you concerned with these couches. You want us to sit? Couches. No, I want to... Move them? Yes. Can we move them? Just yeah. very quickly. Okay, we're gonna move them. I like how you're directing and you're taking charge. Some space. We'll give you space. There's that. We'll put the waters there, okay. and I'll put my phone up there. And I have a Swiss ball, too. This is to engage the core, even though we're not using it today. <laughs> I do use a Swiss ball. But I'll, Very see, good. You want me to stand for this one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's stand. Um, stand. You know, there you never want to start, you never want to stretch cold, right, getting out of the bed in the morning. So we're just going to do, do a really quick warm-up. Warm Very good. Um, <laughs> we can just kind of touch our knees a little bit out to the side. Keep your your core tight. <laughs> oh, so you uh, your core, it actually does it on its own, but you want to focus on that. Okay? Yes, keep it keep it. These are knee slaps. Yes. Okay. So let's do some jumping jacks. I just rip farts okay. In yoga, so <laughs> I just can't help it. I come out. <clears throat> just do a few of these. This is just to sort of get the blood pumping. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Get the blood Before pumping. Before we stretch. I've done this one. Okay, and we're gonna do some twists. When the uh, torso goes to the left, your arm's gonna go to the right. We're gonna jump and swap. Like this. Oh, I got That's it. That's how I dance. That should be too much for me to go in. That's how I dance. That's how I boogie. Okay. But don't you think that's a lot early on? Boogie on, reggae woman. Okay. Ciara. What? Now that one, for me, yes. my lumbar region, I'm a little tight. Okay. I, I'm breathing. Sure. But that one, I felt like if I did it, I kind of like, roller, I could have kind of pulled my. Well, good lower. thing we're gonna work on our back now. Okay. So what we're gonna do is. Um, 
sun salutation, if you will. We're going to sort of reach our arms up, stretch to the ceiling, shoulder width apart, and then go down and touch your toes. Oh, if you can't uh, reach, touch whatever you can. Ouch. Straighten your legs and touch whatever you can I do can't, without. I can't. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, Everybody starts somewhere. Look at me. So what we're gonna do? I'm palming the ground. You're excellent. I so need what a we're gonna do? Yeah, keep your palms there. We're gonna go into a uh, downward dog. Okay, I'm walking. Uh, do you have okay. space back there? Yeah. So <laughs> go. This is what they call. Exactly. Yeah. I could go back more even. Yeah, and so uh, what you wanna do is try and. Do I try to go far back or up? More, it's more up like you're a V, and uh, try and press your okay. heels into the ground. My heels into the ground. If you can. Uh, wow, amazing. Gosh. Great. It's really hard. Uh, so what we're going to do now. It? I feel so alive. Yeah. <laughs> but do I spread or keep it close? I think you're doing, you're doing okay. okay. Yeah, just I'm make right a here. V. And then what we're going to do is reach our right leg in and place it in between our palms. Oh, my God. Like, okay. Can you lift up your, your hands to get it there? If that's easier for you, that's okay, yeah. And then what we're gonna do is bring our right hand, put all the pressure on your left side, bring your right hand up and stretch, heart open. Oh, I feel oh. it. It's really nice. Do feel I it around somewhere? the butt. <laughs> do I look up? Yeah, look up, reach okay. the head back, ear to the back. Oh. This is hard. Okay, now bring your hands back down. Oh. All right, and now use your this use your core much. center to sort of stand uh, up into a lunge. Okay. You can do it. Uh, You're so on, great. Uh, <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. There you go. Get Got your it balance. together, Steven. <laughs> I'm on Lamitha. Lose my anclonopin. It's a uh, side effect. Okay, so we're gonna take one deep <laughs> breath in. You're all right. <laughs> one I'm deep on breath bath in. Salts and I'm nailing it. <laughs> and okay. then go down. <laughs> okay. 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 And just take one deep breath in and feel the stretch there. Why am I why am I losing my balance? Cuz you're eating pesticides and God knows what. Yeah. All day. Truth, truth. We'll do a couple we'll do a couple more you're then we'll get sugar, this off. you're okay. getting the big gulps. Bring your hands back down. Yeah. We'll go back into a downward dog. Okay. Since we're running out of time, we won't do the other side, but what we're going to do what? is What? I'm going to be all is, asymmetrical is the rest of the day. To, walk to your walk to your feet. Okay. Okay, and then just slowly, really slowly Bring it, bring it back up. Oh, I feel my yeah. hamstrings. You can do a quick oh. little head roll if you like, really relaxing. And then uh, we'll do a little static stretch with, on the front of the thigh. Okay, I'm gonna watch be your all balance. For that. Hold on. <laughs> Make sure you don't have your leg out or Is your foot okay out to the side. Is it okay to put your hand on so at first? Yes, absolutely. Can I if put it on the something... Ventura Boulevard sign? <laughs> And breathe into that and switch if you can. We'll switch okay. it. Now we're switching it up. Now I'm going to hold on to my, oh, I'm hanging over chat. <laughs> I'm back here. <laughs> okay, so I'd like you guys to do a partner stretch. Oh, what you're going to do <laughs> is uh, hug it out first. Absolutely. You started like this. <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm comfortable hugging Eric. Um, so you'll just I'm sit down. I'm just as a brother, <laughs> as, a, as a friend. As a brother? Or yeah, no, a brother. <laughs> Hard so, hard. so you're you're gonna sit down with your legs out. So both oh, your legs are gonna be geez. facing each other. Okay, I get this one, no. and then we'll wrap on this one because we had a. Now, yes. if I get an erection, <laughs> do not. You know what Denzel Washington says before a sex scene? He says, um, "Part of me, if I do get an erection, part of me, if I don't get an erection." Do you know that? He he covers himself. Covers himself. Okay, okay. so Either try way. and have your legs you're way more flexible touch than each me. other. Yeah, super so I'll flexible. be the first to admit it. But. Okay, okay, so I so, could go way more, but I'll keep it here. Yeah, I can go help more. Help each other out. Could you? I mean, help each other um, out. I can't go so, more. This but you're is wearing it for me. Pants so too. I get it. You are wearing jeans. Maybe you get it. So the, I get it. You're <laughs> more flexible than me. Oh, okay. You're Super like a ballerina. Flexible. I am flexible. Okay. Um. So if you guys can do Male this, dancer. grab hands. Oh, my hands are sweaty. Okay. It's called right. hyperhidrosis. So, Brody, why I saw don't a dermatologist, and I have to get several shots. You need shots at Botox. Yeah, I don't want to do it. I said no. I'll talk to you about that because I've had this. Okay, let's show, let's yeah. focus. Let's stretch. Okay, let's okay get so what do we do? Done. What's this stretch? You're gonna then bend. Fo you're gonna bend forward. You're gonna slightly pull and help him out. Keep your head, oh, you know, kind of straight. Keep my fed head straight and look into his. <laughs> look into his crotch. 
Because Xana ate one of the most ridiculous hat. <laughs> Did you have that made? Or is that yes. <laughs> okay, make sure you're breathing breathing deep and into that stretch. You can usually find if you keep breathing, you're able to push yourself a little I'm bit so further. This is good. Hands. This is good. Your hands Very are nice. fine. It's actually good. Ugh. Yeah. I'm okay. I love it. Okay. I, lo I love it. You guys want to switch? Yeah. And don't pull myself. too hard. Tell me. I mean, keep it, shouldn't he keep his knees down? Yeah, but it hurts. Okay, it I won't so well, And that's okay. Go as far knees as down. you can Step, just the Both of you are hurts. pushing me. No. I want to support you. Right here. You. <laughs> this camera, the Brody camera. Come on, Eric. Get your, get this, your, name, no, get your knees down. He's doing great. Everybody's got to start somewhere. <laughs> but his knees should be. I, want I don't want to hurt form. myself. I, want <laughs> I don't want to hurt myself. Put your, they're think, down. No, they're not. They're down. All right. Don't yell. Positive push. <laughs> Positive pull. There we go. Uh, Very good. Okay. That feels good. Good. Feel that? And we're, we'll be right back or we're going to end. Hey, we got to end this. Uh, Ciara, thank you for being here. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Eric Andre stretching. Thank you got you. it. The Eric Andre show travels across America. Good guy. Paul uh, Shear was I'm at, here. Is this live? Yeah. Look. I'm at the Echoplex tonight. Come by. I'll put you on the list. Oh, that's where the Rolling Stones played. Yep. All right. That's why they were like, hey, you like the Rolling Stones? You'll love the Eric Andre show. Come that's on what down. it says. Maybe on I'll the... come on down. All right. So, Eric Andre, good guy, Paul Shear, here earlier. Ciara, oh. it's the VPN, Positive Push with Brody, subscribe, all, all right. that good stuff. <laughs> Podcast Network, VPN, Jash, Midnight's oh. Comedy Central, we've got, uh, just support it, watch it, have, have a great life. <laughs>